Hello and very warm welcome to Topical Tuesday Love. And uh, in this edition, we have a special edition on the art exhibition here at Paruta Zongla. And with me today, I have the director of National Museum, Kimbo Finsudashi, to talk more on the exhibition today. And yes, hello, Kimbo. A very warm welcome to our program today. Thank you very much. Well, Kimbo, if you could first tell us something why this exhibition is being held, especially at this Taza Zongla. There are so many aims and objectives to set up the exhibitions, particularly on what are called on Guru Rinpoche's and Shabdung's images. And why? Because this year is very historical year and uh, Iron Male Monkey Year yes. is very special because this is the year we observe or regard as a birth year of Guru Padmasambhava who introduced Vajrayana Buddhism in Bhutan. Bhutan used to be actually, of course, it's an independent country from the immemorial time. But Bhutan at that time, before the advent of Guru Rinpoche, mm -hmm. the Bhutan was just like a, what you call like a farming country yes. and hidden in the Himalayan mm -hmm. uh, regions from the east Himalaya. So after the advent of Guru Rinpoche, and he brought the Buddhism and blessings of the enlightened master to the country. Since then, the many enlightened masters Many of our farmers, mm -hmm. sort of, say, became enlightened, like him, almost. Mm -hmm. So that's why to commemorate mm -hmm. or to remember or to show the sign of our respect to him mm -hmm. for bringing the uh, Buddhism and blessings to the countries, and this is the, the exhibitions the National Museum of Bhutan organized to uh, showcase to the public and uh, visitor from uh, across the world. Like Impo, this is the 15th such exhibition. Yes. So how is it different from the past exhibitions so far? So the past, mainly we have displayed on contemporary arts, yes. you know, the sacred arts. Mm -hmm. And today, uh, there's is 15 special exhibitions focused on the very sacred mm -hmm. art objects mm -hmm. of Guru Rinpoche, mm -hmm. Shabdung Namji. Yes. And also special why we have chosen this year, because mm -hmm. Shabdung Namji and the 400 years anniversary of his arrival to Bhutan. And thirdly, the most important part is our royal prince's arrival to the country. So we are very fortunate to have such a wonderful good news mm -hmm. uh, because now we can relax and we can enjoy a father more because we have a now new, the sixth king will be giving blessings and uh, uh, rule the countries with the compassion and the love. Mm -hmm. So that's way to show from our uh, from our side, the public. So this is the small the token of respect mm -hmm. uh, to our royal prince mm -hmm. and you know, our 400 years anniversary of Shabdung mm -hmm. So he visited Bhutan an auspicious mm -hmm. uh, year and auspicious uh, day. Yes. So this year is uh, really completing around 400 years. So that's why we are dedicating all our exhibitions mm -hmm. and our effort, our joyous effort, not only like obligation, mm -hmm. but our joyous effort. We are very happy yes. that occasions and to share with the rest of the, our uh, visitors. And like Himpo, this 15th uh, exhibition is focused on the clay statue, yes. the making of clay statue. Yes. Why should Bhutanese people be so interested to know about the such exhibition in which is totally focusing on the clay making statue, like, especially in this era, like this is the yes. 21st century. Like, why yes, less? because now you rightly you ask the question the clay. So when you talk about the clay, we have a three uh, important factors when you fabricate, when mm. you build, when you sculpture the statues. One is art supplies. Art supplies is very important. Nice. Second is artisans. Third is consecration. Now. Mm -hmm. So these three processes only can be taken place uh, according to Mahayana Buddhism or something. Mm -hmm. So that's why clay, the art supply is not a plastic. Mm -hmm. So this is not even the bronze and the silver. Mm -hmm. So art, the soil, clay is very precious. Without earth, tree cannot grow, yes. water cannot exactly. run. The rock cannot be there. So that's why art is the basis of everything. Yes. Or every precious. So mm -hmm. that's why the artisan can craft or mm -hmm. fashion or fabricate mm -hmm. in any other alloy mm -hmm. uh, items like uh, corals, onyx, uh, whatever you, mm -hmm. you know, diamond, 
and copper, silver, but the clay, because the essence of the clay mm. or soil is all this the precious, you know. So mm. that's why I think if you really build a statues mm. out of the clay or mud, mm. this is very everything's there, so preciousness. Mm. So that's why clay is very important. Mm. As as I told you that there's the three key factors: clay, artisan, and consecrations. Yeah. And after the completions of making statues, mm -hmm. then enlightened master have to consecrate that object mm -hmm. to become a sacred. Then only we put on the altar as an object of our worship of yes. prayer. So that's why clay state statues, if you build one clay statues, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. are more precious than 100 the metal statue. So yeah. that's why we like to educate mm -hmm. to the people mm -hmm. that you don't have to really spend a lot of money to buy gold and silver to make or to create or craft the statues. Mm -hmm. But soil, earth everywhere, earth mother is there. So that's why we thought that is now this tradition is still living. It's yes. not dying out. Mm -hmm. There's more and more becoming mm -hmm. uh, popular now clay statues among the craftsmen, the, the artisans. Yes. So that's why this year especially we have chosen the art of clay statue mm -hmm. making a special on uh, on the tenth, uh -huh. the Guru Rinpoche's the waxing moon. You know that today is the tenth Guru yes. Rinpoche's blood uh -huh. day. Uh -huh. Actually, every uh, tenth. Uh, tenth of the month. So that's why we focus on the clay statue making. So this is how we thought this very important in the right time. Yes, like before coming back to the items uh, that's being displayed here in the exhibition today, so Kempo could uh, uh, explain and tell us uh, about the important items that is being displayed or showcased here in the Tazong? Yes, there are five categories. Yes. Buddha, first. Second is a Lama. Mm -hmm. Then third one is tutelar deities, we call Idam. The fourth one is a Kando, the female Buddhas. Mm -hmm. And fifth one is a protecting deities, yes. like a, a Mahakala, mm -hmm. like a Raven Herit, yes. like a, any other Tazong Sengi Samdu, then uh, Genin Japa Melin. Yes. Up Chungdu, all mm -hmm. these are protective deities. Mm -hmm. So we, the, the visitor can view all these different kind of deities mm -hmm. or enlightened masters. Even you can become enlightened masters. Yes. Even I can become enlightened masters. Mm -hmm. So that's why this is the opportunity to accumulate merit. Yes. So that's why we have uh, five different sections mm -hmm. on display. So if uh, Kempo could also talk about uh, the importance of the Tazong, because mm -hmm. most of the time the such exhibition is mm -hmm. being showcased here, especially mm -hmm. in this town. Mm -hmm. Tazong is a watchtower. Actually, we don't have ocean. We have a mountain. So that's why instead of calling lighthouse, mm -hmm. we call watchtower. So that's why giving protection to the, the Zong, mm -hmm. actually, main fortress. So Tazong is actually in former times used as a, what called, I know, so watching the, the guarding and uh, giving protection to the Tazongs from the enemy invaders from yes. north, south, uh, west. So the early 60s, under the guidance of mm. the third king, the Tazong was renovated. Mm. Then 1968, it was first time exhibited mm. to the public. So mm. that's why National Museum now is a national museum mm. of Bhutan. It's not like a museum of power or something. Mm. It's a national museum of Bhutan. And that museum houses so many precious objects in that mm -hmm. museum building. So that's why National Museum is, is like a representation of our culture and mm -hmm. history. And mainly National Museum is sh showcasing tangible art yes. objects from the prehistory to mm -hmm. the present contemporary arts. Mm -hmm. So that's why a National Museum is, is a learning center yes. uh, to learn history and culture. It's not like a museum in other countries, mm -hmm. just a dead object and just see and you go back to the previous or many centuries. Because for today you see the how many incense. Mm -hmm. Because in the West you cannot see flower. The, you see, you are not allowed to keep the flowers, incense, burning, small detectors mm -hmm. there. So in Bhutan is a living culture. So yes. that's why people really still they can really receive mm -hmm. the blessings and accumulate mm -hmm. merit. Mm -hmm. So that's why Tazum become very important mm -hmm. because of precious object. Mm -hmm. And precious object also need to display or somewhere is a mm -hmm. national museum. So interdependent, both yes. are important. Mm -hmm. Tazum is important, and precious art objects also important. And also location is important because mm -hmm. this is the only international entrance and exit yes. point mm -hmm. in, uh, in in the country. Mm -hmm. So that's why 
almost 80 percent out of 180 to 90 percent the visitors they come and view the national museum because this international exit point so before they explore the country or maybe the at the end of their trip. So mm-hmm. that's why National Museum, the geographically, is yes. a right location. Mm-hmm. So that's why easy to access. Well, okay, we're coming back to the exhibition. Such exhibition is being uh, showcased for the benefit of all sentient beings. Yes. So what should one understand or what should one think? La? Yes, How yes. should people yes. pray la, when yes. they come to visit Very good. Such, uh, the mindset. La. So you have to change the mindset. Because we can think so many different kind of thoughts we can have any, anywhere. National Museum is a living culture, I told you. It's a learning center. So once you go around there, even you can study there as one object and statues. That statue will take you 400 years ago, maybe even more, 700 years ago. So you are physically standing in front of a statue, but your knowledge and thought go back to 100 years ago. Yes. So that's why we should not really bring along with us, our desire and anger. Mm-hmm. So we can have our actually desire and anger, this kind of negative, we should not have. If it is possible, mm-hmm. we should really eliminate and we mm-hmm. should not really get engaged. Yes. But as a human being, what do we do? We have it like that. Mm-hmm. So this is an opportunity, actually, yes. to accommodate merit. Mm-hmm. And merit makes a big difference because why some people are multimillionaire, why mm-hmm. people are starving, because of... There is not enough accumulation of merit. So that's why I think the 15 special exhibition on yes. sacred art objects mm-hmm. providing the opportunity. Yes. All the weavers can mm-hmm. really accumulate merit and remove the obstacles. So yes. that's why I think it's very important to transform or motivate it or something before you enter mm-hmm. uh, the, this kind of sacred objects. Otherwise, our sacred objects will may get contaminated yes. by the desire and mm-hmm. angers of the visitors when yes. they visit. Because then we have to consecrate again and again to purify. Yes. So that's why it is very important to have a pure thought and yes. good heart mm-hmm. to view. Mm-hmm. Then blessing can enter. Yes. Otherwise the blessing cannot enter. Yes. If the face of the cave is towards the west, mm-hmm. there will be no sunshine inside the cave. Yes. So same thing like that. Mm-hmm. We have to have a right motivations, mm-hmm. right thought, and behavior when you enter. This is not like a just a dead uh, object or showing their history. Yes. There are so many sacred objects. Yes. And also, of course, natural history there is also. There are so many contemporary arts also one can see. So, Kimpo, this uh, 15 exhibition will be showcased for how long? Huh? Uh, renovation is underway now, yes. the main building. Mm-hmm. So, almost uh, going to complete uh, within this year, mm-hmm. uh, 2016. 2016. So, end of this year, then we will relocate all our objects to the main building. Yes. So that's why mm-hmm. till then I think they depend on the visitors. If yes. visitors are really they need more objects, we have a more inner sacred objects. Yes. So we may go. So mm-hmm. but I'm thinking that maybe we can keep at least at least end of this year. So like boy can we say that this exhibition is open uh, for the visitors from outside? Yes, yes. It's this for everybody. There is no discrimination, male or female, young or old age. Everybody can come. But the one good news is that if you are 70 plus, then you don't have to. A senior citizen, you don't have to pay. Otherwise, it's a $3, 150 in Multum. So, mm-hmm. of course, for Bhutanese, pure Bhutanese are, the citizens are uh, 10 Multums. Mm-hmm. And the South countries are 50 Multums. So, mm-hmm. monks, nuns, gomchens are free and mm-hmm. below 10 years uh, children are also free so that's why uh, it keeps open throughout the week the seven days in a week can we if you could refocus on the main item that's being displayed today so there are so many objects but that one of the main objects is a uh, guru rinpoche spoken guru rinpoche mm-hmm. it is said and then other one is a shabdung ngao namjil's uh, image self-imposed or yes. self-created mm-hmm. or self-consecrated mm-hmm. by Shabdu Ngao Namgyal. Yes. That is the star of these objects. Mm-hmm. So that, if we really craft the new, mm-hmm. then it will become replica. Yes. It's not origin. Mm-hmm. It's not 400 years old. Mm-hmm. So that's a Shabdu Ngao Namgyal and a small one, the very miniature. Yes. People may not have a, some kind of, they don't pay much attention if they, if they are not told, but we have written there. Yes. That is really, really sacred. And yes. uh, so mm-hmm. I think these uh, two objects are more important than any other objects 
in this as 15 days special exhibitions. So looking for what are the other interesting uh, things that are being displayed? Like? There this are the main item. Yes, main item. Then you can see the process of making clay statues. Yes. Even the tools. Mm -hmm. You can find the tools. Mm -hmm. You can find the clay and you can find the medicinal herbs. Yes. You can find the relics. Mm -hmm. You can even find the hammer, how to bag, mm -hmm. how to smash, mm -hmm. how to get mix, how you can make mix all these uh, ingredients mm -hmm. and become very sacred art supplies. Yes. Then only the artisans, mm -hmm. the good heart or the master of the clay statue maker mm -hmm. and choosing or selecting, choosing the right date or auspicious date and then only fabricate or craft. Mm -hmm. So after that, it's con uh, you know, this whole process we're showing and after finishing part, after painting, mm -hmm. you know, then how it looks like. So that's why it's completely from the collecting of the clay to the complete. That small room can give complete uh, the process of the clay statue making. Mm -hmm. So these statues are made by our locals? Yes, very good. Yes, of course, there's uh, from the Hefu, from yes. Tashikang, mm -hmm. from Kurte, from Bumtang, mm -hmm. from Paro. So many clay masters, yes. clay statue making masters coming from many different places. Mm -hmm. So that's why it shows the workmanship, how yes. the Buddhist people can demonstrate. So it's regarded, not only we are Buddhist, that's mm -hmm. why we are, you know, regarding them and uh, the, considering them they are great artists is regarded by internationally because yes. this clay statue making a very delicate, you know. Yes. Once you made them the fix, then mm -hmm. you see, then you can't. Otherwise, then it will just, you know, deform or mm -hmm. different shape. Yes. So that's why before you fashion, mm -hmm. before you fabricate, before you uh, uh, craft that uh, mold, mm -hmm. that clay, yes. then you, the artisan, have to think how to be that the image of the wrathful, mm -hmm. wrathful face of deities, mm -hmm. or peaceful face of deities, or female Buddha, mm -hmm. or male, or lamas, or protected deities. It's very intricate, mm -hmm. it's very complicated, but the Buddhists are really very special in making clay statues. Yeah. It is said that every hundred years, there's emanations of artisans is taking rebirth in Bhutan. Yeah. So that's why special Tibetan lamas, they have a high respect to the Buddhist artisan. Kimbala, are artisans destined to do such thing? Or there are, are some. they being trained? Yeah, yeah, there are some. Some are. Very good questions. Tukusanga Jetsin yes. from Hebu, mm -hmm. Gonpa, Paro. He was not an artist. He was, the, you know, disdain. And he had a vision in the dream that how to make clay statues of Guru Padma Sambhava yes. at manifestation. Mm -hmm. When he woke up next day, he remembered everything, how he was taught at night. Still you can see now. And when Tibetan artisans were invited mm -hmm. to fabricate from Tibet at mm -hmm. that time, and when he came, it was late because snowfall on the way. Mm -hmm. So it was late to come uh, what's that, to, uh, to Hebukonba. So then when they look at the statues, who did really uh, craft mm -hmm. and build these statues? We cannot. Now we have to learn from these uh, artisans. And yes. says, mm -hmm. I don't know. So you can rectify if I something did wrong or, or eyes or lips or nose. So it's perfectly the eight manifestations from Guru Padma yes. These are very special case. Mm -hmm. So then also some are, you know, undergoing through special training mm -hmm. the, from the clay master to how to, you know, fashion, how to uh, make their hair, and their eyes, lips, the proportion of all the bodies. So they are also training centers. So yes. there are two different kind of artisans in Bhutan. That's the Gimbo finally, your advice or your message on this 15th exhibition for the public like, who are yet to come and visit? The main thing is they should come with a pure thought because, as I told you, that pure thought is a vessel to enter or contain the blessings of the statues. So whenever they come, so really they can really have a good motivations and without bringing any desire, yes. anger and negative thoughts with them just for a few minutes to go around and they are blessed. When they are blessed and they are becoming a successful human being in our life and their life can be prolonged. So it depends on their motivations, how they really come into view. So that's why I think it's very important the visitors when they come another uh, 10 months uh, we will keep 10 months almost like a 10 months end of this year mm -hmm. so whosoever come please come with a pure thought and receive the blessings okay
थैंक यू सो मच लकी भाई Well that's all I have for you in this edition. Do tune in next Tuesday for yet another edition of Topical Tuesday at the same time same frequencies. And this is Stringomo signing out and thank you for tuning in. <laughs>